Rogers woman says she's looking for the owner of two big dogs that attacked her two little dogs at Hobbs State Park. Now she says the owner took his dogs after the attack, said he'd get help, but instead she says he just took off. We have 4029's Jacob Murphy now who spoke with that woman today. Jacob. Yeah, Brandon, it all happened right here on the Van Winkle Trail in Rogers. Jennifer Corser says her mom was walking two of her dogs named Tito and, and Bear, excuse me, when they were suddenly attacked. Jennifer Corser lives in Rogers with her three beloved dogs. Our favorite thing to do is take the dogs for walks, and it is their favorite thing. We walk them daily, usually two to four miles every day. Last Thursday, she says her mom was walking two of her dogs while she was out of town. My mom had not seen them coming, so it was kind of a shock. It was very abrupt. And very frightening. Both dogs, each dog went for each one of my dogs and basically um, put them in their mouths and started tozzling them around. My mom tried to get into the middle of it. The owner finally caught up and kind of got into the middle of it. Two larger dogs, who she says were not leashed, escaped from the owner. One of the larger pit bulls knocked my mom to the ground and she was on the ground trying to pull the dogs um, out of the pit bull's mouth. When things calmed down, the dog owner said he'd be back with help, but he never returned and the dogs were in bad shape. When my mom found him, he was lying and whimpering and he was able to kind of drag himself with three legs. Um, he fractured in multiple places. Both dogs are back home now, one of them recovering from surgery. Tino fractured his right uh, front leg, which is right humerus. He had a complete fracture. Now their favorite thing to do won't be the same for a while. I'm thinking about carrying some sort of weapon, um, maybe something to help me out if this ever happens, being a little more cautious, um, watching around corners. But right now I think we're all kind of on eggshells with it. We know that a police report was filed right after the incident on Thursday with the Benton County Sheriff's Department. And according to the Arkansas State Parks, it's not allowed to have a dog not on a leash while on park grounds. Reporting live in Rogers, Jacob Murphy, 4029 News.